knows how crucial this leg is. Well, he's going down. 59. And missed it. Well, again, Osborne not hit a treble yet in this leg. So Walsh needs to hit the lipstick. And he's got it with the second. Another one will give him a good position in this leg. 100. Well, he'll be happy with the 100, but he'll be looking at a 140. They had a lot of the bed to aim for. So, only a few points in this leg. The tension, you can feel both players know how pivotal a big score in this leg could be. Osborne still yet to hit a treble. 96. He got one there, though. Absolutely when it was needed. And now Walsh. The response has to be instantaneous. There's a good opener. And another. Maybe the chance of a 180, and it's there. That was quality. It was needed right at that moment, and he delivered. 180 number two for Walsh. Well, the third one of the match, but the second one crucially to Walsh. So Osborne needs to strike back here. Just to the left-hand side, he's moving over again. He's done that quite a lot in this game so far. 94. But Walsh does not have a checkout here. He could, though, nevertheless, put himself right in the driving seat because Osborne still back on 190, so time still on his side. Well, and look at this, he is really banging well, the numbers now. Big 13 to leave double top. Fantastic shot by Walsh there. Left double top after... A very shaky start by both players in this leg. Crucial leg, as we said. Osborne now needs to just hit a big score, put the pressure on, and hope that Matt Walsh can't peg that double top and get himself right back in this match. So Matt Walsh now has the throw oh, to go for a piece. Oh, he's got to go double ten now. And gets it. He badly needed that. You see, he blows his cheeks out. It's a sense of relief, obvious. Perfect dart. Doesn't do a lot. Doesn't say a lot. Mike Walsh, but I'm sure he wanted to jump up in the air there. Very relieved that he had a good leg there. That 180 changed the game in the middle of that leg. Pivotal part of that leg there. Colin Osborne scoring was very poor in that leg and gave the opportunity to Walsh. Now Walsh. Back to parity at four apiece. So Walsh now 100. wants to hold his sword and then put the pressure back on Colin Osborne. The two leg margin now is essential, of course, remember. That's two in, 180 on the cards, and a oh. 140. <laughs> that is as close as you can get, I think, without it actually being there. Just over the way, we'd be happy the 140, but was looking for the maximum score there. But Walsh starting to hit that trouble 20 very regularly. Did so in the championship start recently. Both these players drew 5 5 in that tournament, and the only time they played each other. So not a lot between them. Walsh started slowly, didn't he? he was took his time to settle in this game but you just sense that the momentum now 97. might be with the man from Abbots Langley well if Osborne does lose this match he'll look back at that leg they knew he scored very poorly through nine darts at the board never hit a treble and Walsh with that 180 and then that fantastic one through three set him up for the double and he pegged it to get back to 4-4 four, four. And now looking good to go 5-4 ahead. Well, he's got himself on 1-6-1. Osborne now has got to get a good throw with this visit. Got to. Got to get a good score. Got to deliver here to keep the pressure on. Well, if Walsh does win this leg, he will go 5-4 ahead. But as we've mentioned earlier on, you have to win by two clear legs. Well, so Walsh looking good, but Osborne not out of it, just needs to hold his throw. And then if we get to seven apiece, we'll get to that tie-breaking deciding leg. Coming downstairs for the One cover shot. And gets it. That's the treble 19. It's left him with two 12s for the leg. Oh, Walsh looking good now. Looking much more relaxed than Colin Osborne. Colin Osborne. Just not around that treble 16. like he was in the middle of this Mark game when he was 4-2 ahead. Two 12s then. Double 12 for Mark Walsh.
One dart required, great finishing, 5-4, and now it is Osborne, the man under pressure. He looked as though he was moving towards winning this match. Now it is real, real pressure time. Well, Colin Osborne won the first leg back from the break, but then Mark Walsh, three legs on the trot, but pivotally that leg against the throw. Well, that is not what is required. He badly, badly needed that third treble. Yeah, definitely. Just pull that second out into the five. Both players just seem to not find the range consistently, but that's good. Good recovery there. And follows a second out up with another treble 20. So slightly ahead in this pivotal leg. So Osborne needs to fill it up, and that's a good start. That's two in, maybe maximum number two for Osborne. Oh, that is a little bit of uh, bad fortune, I think. Well, it's a third dart from Colin Osborne in this game so far. And as you see there, it hit the barrel and fell out. It didn't hit the dart. Well, Walsh moving in for another 180, and that's his third in the fourth of the match. What do we say about momentum? It's looking as though it may be that now. This is real backs to the wall time now for Colin Osborne. Well, needs at least a 140. Oh, he could be looking at defeat. 100, 100. not good enough. That gives Walsh six darts at 181. 181. Needs to find his way down towards a comfortable finish at the next visit. Uh, may go, go for the, the bull here. Yeah. Well, we're for trouble seven. seven or trouble 19 there. But he knows he's going to come back to the board. <laughs> Looking back there, just checking what he wants left. He'll probably have to go the bull route because Colin Osborne will leave himself at least a finish. Even if it is a big one. One single, well, if it's a single 19 here, it leaves him 96. But another treble, well, leaves him 100. So Walsh may go for trouble 18 double top. Probably go for the 25 option. He went for the bull. 19 would leave him the bull. He's got the treble instead. Double six required. Game. And there! Yeah. That yeah. is a superb oh. piece of finishing once again from Mark Walsh. Colin Osborne surely will look at that as the one that got away. Walsh going through by six legs to four. Cracking opening match.